Hello, everybody. I just woke up from an after church snooze. Actually, um, it is 6.04 and everyone is pretty much still half asleep at the house. Christian doesn't even want to wake up. I'm on my way to a neighbor's house to go pick up a costume for him. This year, I decided that I was gonna just get hand-me-down costumes and not go get like new costumes. One, because Sissy every single year says that she wants to be something and we buy it and she changes her mind last minute and doesn't wanna wear it. And then it's like this huge ordeal and I'm like, oh no, you're gonna wear it because I just spent 50 bucks on this. You know what I mean? So it's one of those things where this year I was like, I'm gonna avoid that altogether. If she doesn't wanna wear it, I didn't spend money on it and I won't feel like I wanna make her wear it. <laughs> so anyway, we're not huge on Halloween. It's not like, um, we don't decorate for Halloween. Um, and no like judgment if you do. Um, we used to and then I just started decorating for fall instead and not for any particular reason, really. I just, I don't know, I don't like the spookiness of Halloween. <laughs> I don't like spooky Halloween. Um, that's just my preference, I guess. And here we go, I found the street. Um, I'm gonna have to come back. Okay, so we got the costume, we're a go. <laughs> he got like a scary costume, kind of. So it's like a hazmat, guy I don't know with like a scary mask and it glows in the dark and oh. sissy's gonna do Owlette from PJ Mask if you have kids you know the cartoon um but yeah so we borrowed a friend's Owlette costume because sissy's the one the majority of the time who's like I am not wearing that she did it with Ever costume since she was a baby. Her first Halloween, she was almost one, and I decided how cute if we made them little like animals. Like I found this tiger costume for Christian, and he hated for me for it. Like he did not want to wear it. But then I made him like I bribed him basically, like every parent does when you want your kid to do something. Um, mom of the year, totally bribed him, and he was so miserable that Halloween. Um, but he did it anyway. Like, he's really good at, like, even if I, he doesn't want to do something, if I'm asking him to do it, like, he's pretty good with it. So if you forget it, like, just like with the soccer thing, she throws a huge temper tantrum. So um, I was like, well, she could be a cute little monkey. I found this little monkey costume. It was so cute. And how like, a little pink bow on it. It was super precious. She looked adorable in it. She threw the biggest temper tantrum. She did not want to wear that monkey suit. And she was only almost a year, not even a year yet. She didn't like it. And I was like, oh, she wanted to be a princess. And I was like, oh my gosh, like you're, you're, you're not even 12 months old yet. And you want to be like, what? You got an opinion? So then the next year, she wanted to be Sophia the first. We got her Sophia the first. And then she changed her mind. She wanted to be Minnie Mouse. I was like, oh my gosh. So that whole day for Halloween, she was screaming because she wanted to be Minnie Mouse. And I was like, no, I just paid a lot of money for this silly little dress. <laughs> you go wear it. <laughs> so I made her do it. And then, um, what else? Okay, so then the following year, she wanted to be Princess Elena. And she was like obsessed with Princess Elena. And um, we got her the costume and she didn't want to wear it. She wanted to wear it for like the week that we got it, the first week, but then she decided she wanted to be something different. I don't even remember what it was. But she didn't want to be that. So this year, I was like, you know what? I'm not fighting with him. And then Christian, like, he still remembers that tiger costume. And he's like, remember, you told me you would never make me be anything you wanted me to be again if I wore it. And he, he still holds me to it. So I'm like, all right. But I got smart. And my kids respond very well to reverse psychology. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna find a costume online and I'm gonna tell him I hate it and I don't want him to wear it and he's gonna tell me that he wants to wear it. I just know it. So first costume I find, I was doing a test run and I kind of shot myself in the foot because I didn't really want him to wear it but I didn't want him to wear something super gory either with like blood everywhere. So I kind of had to choose my battle. So I was like, all right, he wants to be scary. I'll allow him to be somewhat scary but um, I'll show you the costume. It's not that bad. I mean, it's like one of those little like, I don't know what that is. Um, kind of creepy 
but I highly doubt he'll even leave the mask on, which is cool because that's the scary part, right? The other part isn't bad. There's nothing bad on it. So I was like, um, I hate this costume. It's way too scary. I don't want you in this. Look at this, David. And David's like, just let him do it. And we had talked about this before. So, um, I hope he doesn't see this video. <laughs> He's not allowed to scroll YouTube without us. So I won't let him see this video. <laughs> so we talked about it before we were like, okay, we're going to, um, you try and see if we can, you know, so his costume was like 10 bucks. Normally I'd, like I said, they're like 45 or 50 bucks for something that he would want. I didn't even want to step foot in Halloween store this year because I'm going to end up walking out spending a hundred dollars for something we're going to fight the day of to wear. So he was like, oh, please mom, please. And David's like, well, he did get straight A's. And I was like, yeah, he did. And I was like, well, look, you know what? It's not that bad of a costume and you've worked really hard to make good grades and you've been really kind to your sister and you did really well in soccer. I think we're gonna let you do it. <laughs> so he was like, yes, so I only spent $10 this Halloween on costumes, 10 bucks, yes. Opposed to my normal $100, ugh. And we're not huge on Halloween, like I said, so it's not like I really wanna spend that much, so. I don't know why I went off on that rant. That's pretty common. That's a pretty common thing where I'll talk to the camera and then I'm like, why did I even start talking about that? I don't even know my point. It's because I take forever to make my point. A lot of people tell me that. They're like, okay, I don't need every detail. Just get to the point. <laughs> no, you need every detail. Okay. Um, I'm going to go inside and make dinner. I don't even know what to make tonight. And I know a lot of you guys are always messaging me or commenting. You should post more videos, upload more videos and are waiting on my videos. And I think that is so amazing. And I am so just like in awe, like never thought in a million years I would have more than a hundred subscribers. And now I'm at 1600 and I just thank you guys so much for helping my channel grow and just supporting me in this journey that I'm on. And I just like, I love y'all. Like I love y'all. And, um, I love interacting with you guys and I feel like I just have like so many friends on YouTube, you know? And so it's so cool. And, um, I'm so excited to see where God takes this channel. I don't know. I try to upload as much as I can. I don't know. I guess that's just finding my, my routine of filming. And I just haven't found that yet. And I feel like the Lord will guide me there. And if like he intends this channel to grow, it'll grow organically. And, and so anyways, I just, um, yeah, I don't know what to film sometimes. And I struggle with that. And I, I struggle with confidence. I really do. I don't have the confidence to just film anything and know and put it out there confidently and know that someone's going to be impacted by it. Because I think I put too much pressure on myself to like, to like put out the perfect video that's gonna really touch someone and change their life. When I don't have that authority to just like change someone's life. Like that's between you and God. Like I can plant a seed. I can be used as a vessel to kind of like shed light on some stuff, but like I can't change you and I can't make your life better. That is the work of God in you. I just don't have confidence. I need to work on it. I know. I'm, I'm turning this into like a, um, a thing, but my neighbor's coming out. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I'll see y'all later.